Looking to give back this holiday season? Donate to the Army Historical Foundation. For 40 years, the Army Historical Foundation has ensured our nation never forgets the sacrifices of those who serve. As the Army's nonprofit partner, the Foundation constructed the National Museum of the United States Army. The Foundation's work also extends beyond the museum's walls, restoring artifacts, touring historic battlefields, and remembering all we owe to America's Army veterans. Donate today at ArmyHistory.org. Why? Why? If you have T-Mobile 5G home internet, you might be hearing this a lot. Why? Every time your internet slows down during the busiest hours. Why? Why? Because your network gives priority to cell phone users. Why? Why? Good question. Why not switch to Cox Internet with two times faster download speeds than T-Mobile 5G home internet during peak hours? Okay. Stop the whys and visit cox.com slash 5G home for details. T-Mobile prioritizes certain T-Mobile phone users over home internet users during times of congestion. And Granny said, I believe that was our ring. Well, it might not have been, but it sure sounded like it to me. Won't you answer it? Well, I'll try to find out, please. Hello, jot them down, store. Yeah. This is Lyman Abner. Now, let's see what's going on down in Pine Ridge. I believe that's about straight now. Just fasten your wire now, Abner. I believe you got it. Well, I reckon just them three wires is going to hold it. Yeah, that'll hold it. Come on, get down off the ladder before you fall and break something. Are you ready to start decorating the tree now, Lum? Yeah, let's get this stuff on there. Them young ones will be coming in here directly. Better start getting your Santa Claus outfit on, Mr. Lum. Well, we got to get the tree decorated first. Come on, get up, Abner. Don't be sitting down now. Uh, what about that box of trimmings the Ladies' Aid Society brought over, Granddad? Why, let's see. Oh, they're sitting around back of the tree, I believe. Here's them sweet gumballs. I run out of tin for I can't give her no more of them. Well, that ought to be enough. Get that box of trimmings around there back of the tree, Cedric. Better see what we got here first. Well, now, what do you want to do with this cotton hair, Long? Never didn't know why they brought it over. Well, we want to tear it up in little bitty pieces and scatter it around over the tree there so it'll look like snow. Snow inside the schoolhouse this way? Well, sure. That's the way they always degrade a tree. Well, the young ones will know it never snowed inside a schoolhouse. Now, Abner, I ain't got time to stop and argue with you about everything we do. If you don't want to help, just sit down there on one of them school desks and keep out of our way. I ain't trying to start no argument. I just wonder. Is these there, Mr. Long? No, yeah. Set them there on the desk, Cedric. Better open up that box and see what the all they got in there, though. Yes, Mom. Yeah, well, there comes Squire driving up out in front now, Lum. Good. Better go out there and help him unload that stuff, Grandpap. Some stuff Dick Huddleston sent over. Yeah, Dick will be over his house on it with some more stuff here directly, too. Boy, look here, Mr. Lum. Looks like a whole box full of popcorn. Yeah, that's to decorate the tree with, Cedric, ain't it, Mom? Yeah, that's right. It's all strang on thread, just like string and beads. All you got to do is take that and drape it around over the tree. Wait a second, what's this here? Oh, well, now, ain't that nice. A big star to put right up on top of the tree. Well, somebody's going to get the thing up there now. Or to put that on before we put the tree up. Well, I never knowed it was in the box there. Well, we can stand on that step ladder. I don't know, it ain't high enough for a body to reach the top of the tree, is it? No, I'm scared not. Yeah, let's see here. Well, Merry Christmas, gentlemen. Merry Christmas. Come in, Squire. <laughs> Come in. <laughs> Well, now, uh, say, that's a fine tree you've got there. Stately, good foliage. Cedric went over there to Shady Mountain this afternoon and got it. Well, good. Uh, say, I brought over a load of toys and candy from Dick Hudson's place, all like a cherry. He'll be coming over here himself pretty soon with some more, he says. Well, good for Dick. Just set it down on the floor, Squire. We'll get to it in a minute. What in the world's in this box here, Squire? Weighs a ton. Why, well, I believe that's some of that uh, Christmas mix candy, Grandpap. You know, the kids just love that. Oh, my, yes. <laughs> They'll get a side of enjoyment out of this. Oh, yeah. Well, no, this was a great idea you had, putting on a Christmas tree for the children. <laughs> yeah. There you know, were a lot of little lads and lasses around here. It wouldn't have had any Christmas otherwise. Well, I'm just glad of the chance. I've been so busy with the Mule Derby and the Mule Naming Contest and the Beauty Contest, too. I never thought of it till yesterday. Well, it's a shame you couldn't have given away that prize on your Mule Naming Contest before Christmas, Mom. It's been sort of a nice Christmas present for somebody. Yeah, it would, but it can wait, Squire. Folks are too busy with Christmas to bother about naming a mule right now. 
Youngins is the most important thing this time of year. Oh, yes, of course, yes. Well, sir, I would like to be on the receiving end of that prize myself, though. Yeah, well, you've got just as much chance as anybody else, Squire. Just send in a mule's name and give your reason why you thought of that particular name. Yes, I, I know the rules. I'm, uh, here, let me help you something here. Let me get busy. Yes, yeah, Squire, you and me might as well start tying these sweet gumballs on the tree. I've got them all covered with tin for you. Well, now, they do look nice, don't they? Well, sir, there's nothing quite as eye-catching as a sweet gumball covered with tin wool. Oh, oh, pardon me, Abner. I didn't see you carrying that ladder there. Yeah, set that ladder down there, Abner, now. Right up there, over here by the tree. Yeah, now get up on the ladder there, and I'll hand you this tore-up cotton. Just scattered it around on the tree. Well, now, if I'm going to get up on this thing, somebody's got to stand here and hold it. Go ahead, I've got it. Go ahead. Sir, who's going to act as Santa Claus, Lum? Well, I reckon I... Oh, oh, for goodness sake, get off my finger, Abner. Well, get your hand off the sap there. Them saps is for feet. Well, I'll just at least do it myself. Now, hold her steady. Don't them sweet gumballs look nice, Squire? Oh, it's fine, Grandpa, fine. Yeah, I'm just taking some tin for it. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Grandpa, I never nice. finished telling you how I done it. Well, I know, Grandpa, but look nice. Abner, don't nice. throw all the cotton in one place. Scatter it around some. Well, you've got it there. Looks like there might be a hole in the roof. Oh, yeah. Hey, Granny, I've got to be getting over home directly and get that Santa Claus outfit on, too. Are you going to put the toys right on the tree, Long? No, I thought I'd just fill up a cotton sack full of them and come in the back window there and have the young'uns line up and march by the tree here, and I can just hand each one of them a present as they come by. I'm out of cotton, Long. Well, that's all I have. Come on down, and I'll put you to doing something else. Well, hold that ladder now. I've got it. Uh, Grandpa, take those gumballs. Oh, for goodness sake, watch where you're stepping. Oh, excuse me, I want looking. Well, now you've got both my hands now. I hope you're satisfied. Here, take this star now and see if you can get it up there on the top of the tree. You mean clean up there on the tip top? So. Oh. See, Squire, you kind of move the tinfoil in amongst the little points on the sweet gum ball. This looks nice, Grandpa. Don't bother me. I'm putting these bells on the tree now here. The ought to be up there on that top twig right next to the ceiling, Abner. Well, I don't know how in the world I'll get up there unless I climb the tree. Well, man, it seems like to me that star should have been put on there before you put the tree up. Yeah, we were just talking about that, Squire, but we didn't know we had it till we unpacked that box the Ladies' Aid Society sent over a while ago. You ought to be able to shin up that tree, Abner. I saw you go up worse ones than that to get a possum out of it. Why, yes, sir. We could hold the tree for you, Abner, so it won't talk over, so don't worry about it now. Yeah, go ahead, Abner. Don't waste so much time. Man, all right. Hand me the star. I'll tie one. Well, you go ahead. I'll hand it to you when you get up there, ways. Now, get up under them lower branches there. Told me this Peter sticks a fella's hands off a badge, you know what? Yeah, grab a hold there, Squire. Yeah, I've got it, Grandpa. Careful now. Don't shake none of them sweet gum balls off. I've got them covered with tin foil. That's tinfoil on there. Well, sir, now, I never would have known that, Grandpa, if you hadn't told me three or four times. Oh, you, you noticed them, all? Huh? Yes, yes, I did. Yes, I did, Grandpa. Yeah, that's fine, Grandpa. There's a kind of a knack to it. You see, you take the tinfoil. Oh, yes, I know, Grandpa. It's awfully pretty. Awfully I'm pretty. I'm just about wore out, you know it. Right now, I work myself to a frazzle. Wore out? Work to a frazzle. You ain't turned a hand set to stand around here and tell the rest of us what to do. You pay attention to what you're doing up there. I'll tend to my end of it. Yes, watch it there, Abner. Be careful now what you're doing. Come on, Abner. If I never know better, I'd swear you's a possum going up that tree there. I don't want no smart aleck talk from you, Grandpa. I believe old Garfield Tree if he's seen you up there. If I look like a possum up here, you look like a hound dog sitting down there looking at me. Now, wait a minute. Let's don't have no arguments. Is this high enough, Lum? Now, clean up to the top. Well, I'm up to the top now. These lands are getting awful little up here. Yeah, you can get a little higher there. Got to go right up on the top. Yeah, well, I'll try it. I reckon I could be draping that popcorn around the tree while he's doing that. Why, well, yes, I think that's a good idea, Lum. Uh, me and Grandpap can hold the tree all right, I'm sure. Where is that popcorn, Grandpap? I don't know. It's sitting right over here. Hey, look around there back of the tree, Lum. <laughs> what is it? It's Cedric. He's got them decorates back there. Yes, Cedric, don't be decorating the back end of the tree. It won't show back. Wait a minute. What are you doing? What have you got in your mouth? Won't. One, two, goodness. Well, for pity's sake. Look here, Squire. Dad blamed if Cedric ain't sat there and had up about nine yards of this popcorn. Cedric, I ought to wait, 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 wait. Look out, Abner. Watch, Watch it, Abner. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Take it, Grandpa. Oh, me. Now, that's oh. a fine how he do. A oh. fine how do you do, I must say. Now, Grannies, I found out one thing. Christmas is for the children, not the grown-ups.
Yes, Christmas is for the children, all right, but men will be boys. In just a minute, we'll come back to Lemon Apple. Why don't more infant formula companies use organic, grass-fed whole milk instead of skim? Why don't more infant formula companies use the latest breast milk science? Why don't more infant formula companies run their own clinical trials? Why don't more infant formula companies use more of the proteins found in breast milk? Why don't more infant formula companies have their own factories instead of outsourcing their manufacturing? We wondered the same thing. So we made Byheart, an infant formula company on a mission to get a lot closer to the most super, super food on the planet, breast milk. Our patented protein blend has more of the important and most abundant proteins actually found in breast milk. We're the first and only U.S.-made formula to use organic, grass-fed whole milk, not skim. We even conducted the largest clinical trial by a new infant formula company in a quarter century with clinically proven benefits like easier digestion, less spit-up, and softer poops versus a leading infant formula. And we make our own formula in the USA and our very own factories in Iowa, Oregon, and Pennsylvania. Byheart, a better formula for formula. Learn more at byheart.com. Lucky Land Casino, asking people, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? Lucky? In line at the deli, I guess? Aha, in my dentist's office. More than once, actually. Do I have to say? Yes, you do. In the car before my kid's PTA meeting. Really? Yes. Excuse me, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? I never win and tell. Well, there you have it. You can get lucky anywhere, playing at LuckyLandSlots.com. Play for free right now. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. 